And what you're going to notice is that I source items cheap. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about my bread and butter bolos that I sold on eBay. Items that I sold for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And what you're going to notice is that I source items cheap. I buy things at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, anywhere really that I can pick it up for pick it up cheap and turn it for a profit. That's what reselling is, right? So if you're new here, thanks for being here. And I also do lots of other Bolo related videos. So definitely check them out. These are my $35 or less items. All right. So we're going to start with this first one, which what on earth? I, I still am not even sure what this thing is. I got it at a garage sale for 50 cents. Why did I pick it up? Well, because it was new old stock. And why not? Why not try to sell it, right? Vintage Smead Quick Twist Paper Drill. So some sort of paper drill. And I paid 50 cents for it. I sold it for $13.64 and the buyer paid shipping. So what I love about selling on eBay is I don't even have to know what I'm selling. These are vintage 1994 Kelly Doll Twins. Now these are articulated. I don't, I've never seen these before that I remember. I mean. I don't have the greatest memory of toys I played with as a kid. I don't know if you guys remember toys you played with a kid. I know I played with Barbies, but I don't ever remember any of them having this thing, this little switch on the back. So you pull that little lever and the arms move. Very, very interesting. Uh, these did take a while to sell. I don't even remember where I got them. Probably in a garage sale lot of dolls or a thrift store or something, but I sold them for $16.24 plus shipping. This is a Jimmy dancing, singing turtle animated plush stuffed toy. Um, I got this for free from a viewer. She reached out. She needed some plush taken out of her house and she needed it done the next day. And she messaged me and asked if I could do that for her. And I did. So I got me some free plush. So I appreciate her, ate her very much. I know she's a viewer and thank you again. I sold this one for $22.75 and the buyer paid shipping. And anything that is Jemmy, G-E-M-M-Y, I would recommend that you look it up. Now, some of them are bread and butter, but some of them do pretty well. You can get 50, 60 bucks for some of them. Um, I haven't done like a deep dive research on Jemmy in a long time, but uh, there's different things that are that brand that do well. So definitely look them up. So, you know, free into $22.75. I'll take those margins all day long. This is a vintage ideal Shirley Temple doll. And I got her at the Goodwill Benz. So you pay by weight, probably had a buck or two in her. But what I want to draw attention to is damage right here. And I don't know what happened there, but she did have some damage. Always check the back of the doll's neck. That's where you're going to find some information. I did put that in my title. So that helps the search engine get close ups of everything. If there's defects, include photos like the hand here. So got it at the bins probably for a buck or two. Sold it for $24.80 plus shipping. This is one of those uh, 1986. It's an Eden plush Beatrix Potter Peter Rabbit miniature hugger hug toy. Again, more of a long tail item. So to me, the definition of a bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. You know, that is going to vary by person. To me, a bolo is an item that I can pick up cheap and that I can sell for a decent profit. I really don't get caught up on how quickly the item sells. I know a lot of people are really into sell-through rates. I am not that seller. I am a very patient seller. I list my items high, and I rate, wait for the right buyers. That is how I work on the platforms. You have to figure out what works best for you. But I know that if I can get this for 50 cents and I can flip it for 10, I'm good with that. So a uh, little cute... Uh, I think you can like put it on your finger or like on a pencil, just a cute little item. So let me know what you guys, what your business model is. Do you like selling bread and butter items? Do you think it's a waste of time? Um, throw that info down there. Now I do start my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Poshmark and Mercari. I use List Perfectly for that. Um, List Perfectly has recently come out with the Pro Plus plan. And right now you can get it 
if you are on the pro plan, you can opt into it for the same price and get all the extra features. And there is a lot of new stuff. And if you've never joined List Perfectly, it is a cross posting service. I do have a tutorial. I'll link it down in the description. And you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLA Buddies, all one word. So uh, definitely check that out. I've been with List Perfectly using it since 2019. So definitely, definitely love it. And this is a dinosaur. Got it at the bins. It was probably mm, maybe a quarter. It's not a very big guy. And I sold it for $11.16 plus shipping. There you go. A, B, C's, leapfrog replacement letters, magnetic alphabet ABC for sunshine fridge phonics. So here it is. I got these at the Goodwill bins. You will see me picking these up out of the bins. And I'm going to tell you why. Because people need replacements. Another thing you can do with these is you can create a multi-quantity listing and sell them letter by letter. All right. Now, is this going to be a big money item? No. Are you going to have other competition? Yes. I prefer to sell them in bulk, but people do sell single letters. So if you search eBay for the single letters, you can kind of get an idea of, do you think it's worth your time to do that? But what you can do is, let's say you have a J, you can just keep looking for J's and change your quantity. The only thing I would be careful about is to make sure that they understand that the item in the photo is a stock photo and they may not get the exact item. Um, let's just say one's a little bit dirty or has a little stain on it or has yellowing. So they may expect to be getting the J that's in the photo. So make sure you're very clear and put that in your description and up here under the condition that it may not be the actual um, item, that that's your stock photo. So that would be my advice for that. This is a cow. I got it at the bins. It's a milk cow, purple with brown scarf, plush stuffed animal. And I sold this for $9.75 and the buyer paid shipping. Cute little cow, right? Very nice condition. This is a vintage Nino Hera. I don't know how to say that. It's made in Japan. It's a rubber dog Santa Claus because now Santa is a dog, I guess. There's the bottom of it. That's what it looks like. I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents, sold it for $26 plus shipping. So priced it high took a best offer. I do that a lot. Um, this is a hard to find item. I'm going to start it high. And if somebody makes me an offer and I've had it a while, then I'm going to move it. This is an angel. It's Fenton. Uh, Fenton Burmese satin guardian angel figurine hand painted. I believe I used Google lens to figure out what this one was. Um, if you don't use Google lens, Google lens is your best friend. It is free. Um, you can type in Bolo Buddies Google Lens into the search bar and I will show you how to use it. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. So my cost of goods was probably a buck or two. And I sold this for a best offer of 30 plus shipping. But definitely check out Google Lens. This here sold so fast. I don't even know why. I don't even know what it is, but it is I couldn't find anything exactly like it listed. So maybe it was a uh, maybe it's rare. I don't know. Vintage Hero Multi Set Loom. I just wrote what is here. And I did this listing so quick. Uh, I threw it on the top of my uh, freezer, my deep freezer. That's why it looks like this. And yeah, I sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. And I believe that was from um, that living estate and they had just thrown it in a pile of stuff I had bought. So I don't think I paid anything for it. This is... Um, Sangamon iridescent dinosaur silver gift wrap wrapping paper. This also was a freebie uh, thrown in from that same estate. Um, I did take an offer of $12 on this. I paid nothing for it. I was going high on it because I couldn't find anything else like it. And it had that iridescence. And I just thought it was really cool. But somebody offered me 12 and I figured it's for somebody's special day. So I went ahead and took their $12 and am moving on. And the buyer paid shipping on that. These are 1976 Mattel Happy Heart Family dolls. Now, I do remember this outfit and I think this outfit from the Barbies I had as a kid. So I do remember some of the Barbies. But remember Pretty in Peach? Um, I think she's a bolo now. I'm not 100% sure. Is she called Pretty in Peach? I don't know. She's got this flowy peach dress. But I remember having that one as a kid. Look that one up. I got these at a garage sale for $2. Sold them for $27.90 plus shipping. 
again, it's a case of lotting them up and having them sell quicker or for more because they are in a bundle and people are getting a better deal because they're only paying one shipping and they're getting multiple items. This thing, I don't even know what I was thinking. This is a unicorn and it was just so weird. I had to pick it up. Now, I think these are kind of like those things, um, mystery things where you don't know what you're going to get. So some of them can go for decent money if it's one of the rares um, or what do they call it? Rare or they call it something. I don't know. But this is the Poopsie Ray Sunshine Sun Gold Unicorn. I have no idea, but it has a pacifier. It's got some glitter. It has some issues. I mean, it it's it's got condition issues. It has eyelashes. I sold it for $5. Would I pick this up again? I don't know. It was easy to list, easy to ship. I made a little bit of money. I made about four bucks on it. I don't know. I like to at least keep my, usually like to sell my items for about 10, but you know, sometimes this is um, filler paper here. And you can see buy one, get one 25% off with code BOLO coupon. If you want to learn how to make coupons, if you have, I think you have to have a store to make the coupons. I'm not hundred percent sure, but um, I had five, six of these and I've sold five, just such a random thing that you wouldn't think would sell. Right. And I got this at an estate sale. This person bought two of them for 22 32 and the buyer paid shipping. And I have one left. And I think the other one, um, I sold two to the same buyer as well. So they may have used this code. If they put the items in their cart and use Bolo coupon in the coupon area, they are going to get 25% off before they check out. You can make a coupon like this. It is free to do. It's not hard. Um, you just have to have somebody show you how to do it, right? If you don't know. I do have a video that teaches you how to do it. it type in Bolo Buddies coupon and it should pull up. I also teach you how to create coupons to share with past buyers and your followers. So check that out. It's a great way to um, get people coming into your store besides sending out offers to um, likers and watchers. These are marbles, vintage glass marbles, new old stock in the package. I got these from a mystery box from T Auctions for You on YouTube. I bought a toy box from her. Cost of goods was probably a buck or two. Sold it for a best offer of 10 plus shipping. So if you're not following Auctions for You, definitely check her out on YouTube. And she is also now selling on Whatnot. And I believe she is T Auctions for You over on Whatnot. And if you guys aren't following me on whatnot, I'm over there as well. Loving it. Um, it's auction style. It's very fast paced and we have a good time and it is all live. So I'd love for you guys to come hang out. If you use my referral link down in the description of the video, you will get $15 to shop when you join whatnot with that link. And I hope to see you guys at a future show. This one here is Fisher Price Little People Lot of Five Figures Construction Pilot School Bus. And speaking of whatnot shows, I did a Fisher Price Little People. I think I did two of those shows. And I also did a Loving Family show. And they were a success. It was really fun. Um, I did those around Christmas time because I figured people were looking for toys for Christmas. Sold these um, five, set of five, for $15.50 plus shipping. The next item are these Blissful Socks, women's bridesmaid socks, one size. And I sold these for $9.30 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked these up at the Goodwill bins. They were still sealed, probably had a quarter in them. The next item is this Lila and Jack Elephant Blue Gray Lovey Security Blanket Plush Stuffed Animal. If you want to learn about the ones that sell for big money, type in Bolo Buddies Lovey into the YouTube search and you'll get your socks knocked off. Um, I got this at the bins and sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. This is a vintage Unita, Unita, I don't know how to say it, Dollykin doll, articulated, red hair. She is not in great condition, guys. So this came out of my, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm showing all the joints and stuff. If a collector is buying this, she is going to want to see all of that. I'm going to pop over here to the next screen, but tell you about this doll. So uh, Donatella Bottolino was doing a bundle of damaged dolls. I think she got them out of a storage unit. Oh my goodness, we were all cracking up. This is back when she was over on YouTube. 
And the chat is just going crazy about this box of dolls because they were a hot mess. And I have a video on it. You should definitely check it out. Everything I got from this. And I bid like 25 bucks on it, right? Well, I stopped bidding and Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle took over. And she bought me the box and gifted it to me. And I did a video on it and showed you guys how I listed everything. But I am still selling items from that box. And I sold that doll for $14 plus shipping. And even with all the damage. So damaged items do sell. And uh, Donatella and Farm Girl Scavenger Noel are both on Whatnot as well. So if you guys go over to Whatnot, definitely give them a follow there. Manhattan Toy Bunny Rabbit Stuffed Plush. I love you embroidered lovey. So it says I love you on the foot. It is so stinking adorable. And Manhattan Toy Company, I like their uh, plush. Really nice quality, I feel like, in most cases. At least the ones I've seen. Sold this for $19.50. Got it at the Goodwill Wins. And the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage SeaWorld brown sea turtle plush stuffed animal. I got it at the Goodwill Bins and I sold it for $18.60 and the buyer paid shipping. So I've been selling a lot of plush lately. And if you guys want to learn about some big money plush, type in Bolo Buddies plush. And um, you can even specifically put big money plush. And I've got category videos of specific brands. The Rebel Reseller also does that as well. Uh, so check her out if you're interested in selling plush. But wowza, some plush goes for a lot of money. Most, I'm going to say most, are bread and butter. A lot of them are long tail, but they're easy to ship. They're easy to find. You can find them cheap. And I love selling plush. So check out some of those videos. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. More information down below on List Perfectly and some of the other things I talked about in the video. And thank you so much for being here. And thanks for watching.